guys, it's Gita. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's kind of been uh, a while, a while since I filmed. I did a makeup look similar to this two weeks ago, <laughs> and I had some people ask me to film it. Uh, the original look that I did was, um, and I did like glitter under the eye, but I did like blue and purple were like the colors that I used. I basically replicated like the same technique and everything I did on that look. I just used different colors because I don't like to create the same look twice um, just because it's boring for me. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys my eyes, not the rest of my face. Definitely do the eyes first. When you are putting glitter all up under your eyes, you don't want to like put concealer on and then put glitter on because the glitter will fall some. Um, and you want to kind of clean that up before you go in and do your foundation. So I'm just going to show you the eyes and then I do the rest of my face. I'm just going to do off camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned if you'd like to see it. Thanks for tuning in and let's just get right into it. All right, I know I said I'm doing my face last, but I like to put a little bit of concealer around my brows so that later when I go to put foundation on, I don't have to bring the foundation all the way to my brows, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm gonna be priming my eyes also, I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot to do that. And that's gonna go all over my lid, and I'm also gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes since I'm also going to be putting product down there. And I will be doing my brows first as well. This is optional, of course, if you prefer to do your brows last, you can. I'm using Anastasia Dip Brow in taupe, and I'm not really going to show the whole process, but I basically just fill in my brows now. Then I go on with the NYX Wonder Pencil in light, and this is to highlight underneath my brows, and I just take a concealer brush to blend that in, essentially, and that just kind of um, makes a little more definition there. So I'm going in with the Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette. My base shade is Molder, and I'm using a Del M776 brush to do that. I'm also going to take the shade Lyric, which is kind of a shimmery white color, and this is going to be my brow bone highlight. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know this palette is not available anymore, but if you have it, whip it out and use it. Um, using the same brush, I'm taking Noble as my crease shade, and this is going to go onto my lid as well as into my crease. Then I'm taking Harpsichord, which is a shimmery copper color, and that's gonna go into my crease and actually to my upper brow bone. I'm pretty much sweeping this all the way up. Again, I'm using the same brush to do this, and this is just gonna help make it easier to blend the other colors in, and it's kinda gonna be my base. So I'm also gonna take the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to blend that in as well. That's, this is a clean brush, no product on it, just to make sure everything is smooth up there. Then I'm gonna take the shade Analog and a 781 brush, which is a pencil brush, and I'm gonna take that orange color basically from my inner to my outer corner, mostly into the crease and brow bone. I'm not putting this on my lid so much. Um, I really just wanna create a super warm eye, and this is gonna obviously help with that. So again, with the Real Techniques brush, blending out the edges there. Then I'm gonna take the shade Rewind, which is a shimmery maroon color, and I'm using a Delium uh, 758 brush. Now, I kind of realized halfway through this that this is not the most intensely pigmented color. So I put this all over my lid and then I went in, I decided to go back in with a black base to create uh, just something for the pigment to really pop off of, but I show myself doing this anyway. So I'm tight lining my eyes using an Urban Decay pencil and I'm going right into my lower lash line, uh, basically where your lashes meet your lid. You're probably all familiar with tight lining. And then I'm taking the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean all over my lid. And this is, as you can see, um, basically I'm covering my lid with this. And then I'm gonna take the same brush, the, the 758 brush, to blend out the edges so that it's a little bit smoother where the black sort of blends into the orange rather than looking harsh. So then I'm going back in with the 781 brush and the harpsichord shade to really buff those colors together and again just create a smoother transition there. So I'm going to use that pretty much from the inner to the outer corner and obviously blend, 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 blend. So now I'm going to use my Graftobian mixing and lining liquid. I pour a little into the cap and then onto a stainless steel palette so I can apply pigment. So I'm using the Sugar Pill Countess pigment and I put a little into the lid. So you basically want to dip your brush into the liquid, then dip it into the product, then it goes on your lid. And as you can see, this creates really intense color payoff. I'm using the same um, brush, the 758 brush, to apply it. So I'm absolutely covering where I put that black base down. And as you can see, that really intensifies and makes that color really pop. So I'm 
packing on just a ton of this pigment to get really intense color payoff. And then I'm gonna go back in with the 781 brush and just buff the edges. I didn't put any product on it. I'm just basically um, blending the orange and the pigment together. That was my dog whimpering in the background because she wants me to play with her instead of editing videos. So taking the 776 brush and the Real Techniques brush, I'm just blending out the edges again. You really never blend too much, I guess, unless you blend the color away. Um, I'm packing a little more of the pigment onto my lid and this is certainly optional. I really just want to put a little bit more closer to the lash line here. And then I'm going to go into my lower lash line using the 772 brush. I'm basically taking the same shades that I used on my lid. So I'm taking Molder first to lay kind of a base color down. Then I'm taking Noble and I'm sweeping this across my lower lash line. And um, basically just laying a base for the colors to go on top of. So then I'm going to take Harpsichord, same brush, again, just kind of buffing into the lower lash line there. And then I'm going to take that Urban Decay eyeliner and go into um, not all the way across the bottom. I'm just going to go in sort of the outer half of my lower lash line. So using the same 758 brush, I'm taking some of that pigment and packing that onto the lower lash line as well. Now it's time for glitter. So I'm using Violet Voss Rosalind Glitter and I'm using a Delium 755, which is a small little brush. So again, I'm dipping it into the Graftobian liquid, then into the glitter, then to the eyes. And as you can see, I'm just packing a ton of this onto my lower lash line. So all the way from the inner to the outer corner. And of course, if you want it to come down further, you can add more glitter. You can basically just pack it on in layers. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take Lyric to the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to brighten that area and put a lighter glitter there as well. So I'm using Lit Cosmetics Champagne Wishes in size number two. Uh, same brush, same liquid, just packing a ton of that to my inner corner. This step is optional. If you don't like a super intense glitter highlight, you don't have to do that. And then here my husband just came in to see what I was doing and to look at his eyebrows. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply mascara, put my lashes on. I didn't really film this, I kind of just did it. So anyway, do whatever you like. I'm gonna use the Blinking Butte Mink Lashes in LO Jello, which I just got and they're gorgeous. So I basically just put these on, kind of mostly off camera, and I <laughs> completed the rest of my face. So um, I will list below all of the products that I used on my face as well, but that is the completed look. All right, so that is the completed look. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today. Um, again, if you guys have any comments, leave them down below, and I will look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye.